How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Friday. And it would have been said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, Friday's doing everything as far as going to be safe on this Friday. So it's so funny because it feels like it was just Friday and it's Friday once again and stuff. You know, um, I, I, I see a lot of girls, like I said before, just going through their changes and stuff like that. We already know in order to live your truth sometimes, whatever don't kill you will make you not more stronger than you once was. And of course, in Ubala land, you know, it's a lot more different than in the other land. And <laughs> You know, it is what it is. Now, this is the thing. Now, I understand that a lot of times people who stand in their truth, they're going to get judged, picked on, put down and stuff like that because a lot of times people don't have the courage to stand in the truth. So why should you be the kind of person who stand in your truth when you could be amongst the followers and interrogate someone else until that point comes to your life where, you know, you want to stand in your truth and you want everybody to just automatically just take your side and stuff. So my thing is this, is that just let people be different and stuff. And, Learn to, learn to enjoy different people inside of the world. Stop judging people on what you think that certain things would be. Because there's sometimes in your life you don't want to be bothered or there's certain things you want to wear. And there's certain things that you feel as though, you know, you want to do and you kind of want people to stand behind you. So maybe if you don't cut person could kill us at the end of the day like me, you know, it is what it is. And the reason why I'm making this video is called Confidence versus Unbothered. And the reason why I make this video called Confident confidence versus unbothered because a lot of times people feel as though you're very confident because now you know you go outside you can wear the outfit or you wear that hair or you know you could do different things as far as the people who are just unbothered now I do feel as though myself I think it comes to a certain it's course of separation when there's a certain things called confidence confidence when a person feels like yes I look good in this stuff like this and you know I feel fabulous and stuff like that unbothered means I could care less what anybody thinks or I could care less how I look because I'm bothered. If my outfit don't match and what you feel as I have on is not age appropriate, I'm unbothered. Now some people could say it's kind of like the same word, but it's kind of like a little bit different in the same breath. See me myself, I don't think I'm a confident person. I just think I'm unbothered, unbothered. And the reason why I say I'm unbothered is because I feel as though after a certain period of time when people have put you down, made fun of you, you've gotten used to the unnormal thing. Now people who've never been had this type of experience, it becomes very threatening and stuff. Sometimes they'll cave in and go, you know, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Or they become very self-medicated or they become very suicidal. Me, myself, and the, and the people like me who understand that we was born, we stood out and we never know what it's really like to be the people that's got that, you know, this is my friend, you know, you got all the accolades because everybody liked you. It's not that we was not like, we was not really given a chance to be like because simple fact of that, we were different. Now, the thing about it, we didn't know it was different, but people wanted after us that we were different. And when you come to a certain part of, a certain age, you come to the point where you don't care. And all I give anybody confidence, is, I mean, a shout out to the ones who stand in the truth. You know, as far as being different, because the thing about it, as far as being different, being different, let me tell you something, being different makes you a leader. In order to be a leader, you have to be different than anyone else. And in order to be a leader, you have to be someone that someone has never seen before. So the imperfections that you feel as though that you have, that, you know, that you feel like, oh, I got flaws, this, I got flaws, that, those are actually the qualities. And you may feel as though it's a bad thing because people try to make you feel bad about, you know, the things that stand on you that may not be like everybody else, but actually a leader quality. And the reason why, I, in my personal opinion, you have this leader quality is because there's someone else that's suffering or going through something just like you. And you shouldn't hide the leader quality that you have because you never know the person you may be helping along the way and stuff like that who feels different. So, you know, man, you got something like, you know what I mean? So the thing about it as far as what I'm saying is confidence versus unbothered. Now, sometimes people say, well, you, you feel very confident about yourself. This is like, you know, it's just like, to me, it's like two different things, but it's kind of like the same thing in the same breath. Now, me, myself, I know I'm very unbothered. I could care less. 
At the end of the day, I knew they could talk about it like a doll. Those are gonna celebrate, gonna celebrate me. Those are gonna pull me forward, gonna pull me forward. Those are gonna make sure my blessings don't come, gonna try to do it. Well, God is gonna make sure my blessings come anyway. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. And the thing about it is that um, I'm not perfect, clearly. You know that, I know that. I know it more than anybody else. And the thing about it is that people try to point your imperfections and stuff. Prime example, someone asked me, I said, Raven, can you do a video on what it's like to be transgender and becoming old? <laughs> now, I know there's some type of shit that, you know, becoming trans and becoming old at the same time. You know, it could be someone that I know, it could be someone that I pissed off, it could be someone that I used to talk to. So I said before, the biggest fan is the one that's standing next to you with the knife behind, his, behind him or her back. And sitting up there saying, oh girl, and you know, behind their back is a knife to stick you in your back. Oh girl, you know, I live for you, I love you, girl, you are fabulous. And at the end of the day, as soon as you turn your back, they stick it in you. So at the end of the day, you know, I heard the comments, I thought it was hilarious. She was like, well, how do you feel to get old? Well, at the end of the day, I think you're getting old with me. And, and at the end of the day, I'm going to keep pushing through. And I understand people don't like to be called old because that's the new thing. So when I say myself, I say, like, I'm... I'm 85, I'm 90 years old. And the reason why I say this is because people try to make you feel like you're bad because you're getting old. Oh, I, I have the problem staying old. I have well. To me, I'm going to make myself even older because simple fact, I do not care. You know, you want to sit back and say, well, I'm just 13, I'm 18, you know, very young, I'm very young. And that's fine because that's where you're at in life. But in order to be a quality type of person, those little things, don't, those little small things don't matter to us. And at the end of the day, that's how you stand. Those are important to you because you're like, well, I'm, I feel young, I'm beautiful, and stuff like that. A lot of times, just because you're young, don't make you beautiful. Ugly is on the outside, just as ugly is on the inside. When you try to comfort somebody because you feel as though you think of some type of accolades or some type of laughter, at the end of the day, Bobo, you still sit in the house by yourself. And at the end of the day, mother's still getting it in. And the young boys are still calling, and the older boys are calling as well. It's just not that deep, you know? And the thing about it is like, well, how do you feel, you know, you get older and stuff, but then it's like, how do you answer that? You know, because at the end of the day, where I'm going, guess what? You're coming with me. I make it there a little bit quicker than you, but my going to get there fabulous. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. Just hope you get to be my age. Like I said before, I'm like 91 years old. And just hope you get to be 91 years old. Or old bitch that's still around. DD free. Maybe man free. Maybe man free for a reason. But at the end of the day, I'm an older person. Guys, understand with me, I don't take bullshit. You know, I see bullshit a mile away. If you come at me wrong, I'm not going to stick around. Some girls will be like, I'm going to let it work for you. I'm not sticking around. I'm not going to let it work with me. I mean, work on me because some of the fact that I've been through too much to realize I see bullshit, but I see it. And not, it may not be the answer that I want, but it is my reality. It's the one that people always say, can you handle the truth? I can handle the truth. Sometimes it's not the truth that I want. But when it comes to bullshit, I'm not going to stick around and try to reconstruct you how to love me or how to care about me when you know what it's like because you want someone to care about you. So why should I have to sit there and construct that as far as that? Anyway, the best that I just want to share this with you as far as confidence and unbothered. Yes, mother is unbothered. I do what I want. I wear what I want. Was it matches? Was it dope? I could care less. At the end of the day, I love anybody who's different. I love any man who lives as a man who basically wears makeup and don't give a shit, got an old man's look. I love for them. Sure, people may shim them, make fun of them, but I love them. And y'all keep going forward. I love you. I love you. I love you because I love anybody who's different. For the girl who's big, who they feel like she should wear that outfit. Mama, you wear that outfit. You pump up. You make her with pink fingers. Forget the haters. Let you let, be, the, be the leader within your own right. Don't let nobody stop you from who you want to be. For the girls like me, who's really tall, who's putting on heels, who's like, since they mama pump those heels, just make you keep a little something extra in that pocket, but just because you got sometimes you got to beat the kids. But at the end of the day, I'm not putting on violence, but at the end of the day, you stand your truth. For the Spanish person who feels as though they can pass the white, but who's pass the white. Do what you want to do, what works for you. I don't knock anybody does it. For the people who feel as though they like the middle aspect say, well, would you date me because I'm a white man? Let me tell you something. Mother is an equal opportunity employer. I do not fuck with people because of their skin. I fuck with people because of their heart. If you have a good heart, you can come this way. And I love people who love to laugh. I love people who like that fun. But if you're a kind of person like to start problems and very, like, try to start something, I really don't want to be around you. That's where you act like, and that's fine. 
just give me five minutes and I'm out your life. Anyway, that being said, as far as anything, as far as anybody who said that truth would be different and unapologetic, I salute you and I thank you and I love you. As long as you're not doing anything as far as hurting anybody, creating a car or molesting a child, you know what I mean? In case some other dumb girl is trying to make it into some negative type of video or stuff like that. Anyway, that being said, I just want to share this with you as far as this Friday. I want you to be safe. And I want you to make you always wrap your surroundings. And I want to let you know I love you. I want to let you know that I'm loving you. And I want to thank you for watching. Catch the rain.